Good morning, I'm Ruby Cairns with your local 10 News update. We start today's news with Ukrainian President who has received a standing ovation from Aussie politicians after addressing our parliament in Canberra yesterday. President Zelensky took the time to ask the Australian government for more military to help his country fight against Russia. And the Finance Minister has labelled Labor's federal budget as a complete failure. This comes as the, as the government has faced some mixed responses to its own budget proposal. Anthony Albanese handed down his pre-election pitch in Parliament overnight with a promise to improve aged care in front and centre. And a high school and bigger primary school have been announced for Gungalan. This comes following the announcement of a $118 million investment in the region. And in sports, some of Canberra's finest softballers will face off today in the Detlib's Electrical Men's Skins competition, with some series, m serious money on the line, attracting players from New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. The prize pool for the final being an impressive $10,000. And taking a look at today's weather forecast now. 18 degrees in Canberra today, partly cloudy. A shower or two in Goulburn, 13 degrees. And same in Cooma. I'll have more local news, sport and weather for you in an hour. I'll see you then. Good morning, I'm Ruby Cairns with your local 10 News update. Devastating news this morning. The body of a nurse has been found in floodwaters in Lismore after she went missing on Tuesday night. Her car is yet to be found. Meantime, residents living along New South Wales beaches are being told to watch out for dangerous surf and erosion with abnormally high tides and huge waves forecast across the weekend. And new research suggests businesses in the Illawarra and South Coast are missing out on a golden opportunity. Job Access is urging local operators to implement more business adjustments to cater for people living with a disability. The group says they're a great hire and can be made comfortable through low-cost measures such as the option to work from home or accessibility aids. And Lake Illawarra Police are looking to identify the man in these CCTV pictures. Police would like to speak to him in, to, in relation to an incident which occurred at the Open Hearth Hotel in Warrabong around 9pm on Thursday, March 17. At the time, the man was wearing light coloured shorts, a dark long sleeve top and a beige cap. If you've seen him or have any information regarding his whereabouts, please contact the Lake Illawarra Police District. For the time now, 17 degrees in Nowra, same in Batemans Bay, the Rimbula 18 degrees today. I'll have more local news for you next hour. See you then. Good morning, I'm Ruby Cairns with your local 10 News update. A push is being made to turn Orange into a manufacturing hub for the defence industry, with Councillor Jeff Whitten intending to raise the idea at next week's council meeting and encourage the city to sell itself as an ADF hotspot. He believes Orange's infrastructure and existing industry make it a prime location to tap into the defence supply chain. And the latest property market figures are in, showing yet another month of steady growth, with house and unit prices in the Central West jumping 1.5% in March to $548,000. Real estate agents say it's a similar story in other regional markets. And finally, the Dubbo Westview Drive-In is expecting its biggest crowd ever for its final screening this weekend. This comes after the iconic site was sold in January with the venue set for closure and bringing an end to an era for movie buffs. Saturday's screening of Grease is a sellout while only a handful of tickets are left tonight for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And taking a look at today's weather forecast now, partly cloudy around the central west, 23 degrees in Dubbo, 16 degrees in Orange and 22 degrees in Cowra. I'll have more local news, sport and weather for you in the next hour. I'll see you then. Good morning, I'm Ruby Cairns with your local 10 News update. Petrol prices are already starting to fall across the Riverina following the government's cut to the fuel excise. And that it is back under $2 a litre at most servos, while at Wagga it's as low as $1.72 at the Metro and Silverlight fuel stop at Ashmont. We're expecting prices to drop even further over the next two weeks. 
And a warning to drivers after Irrigation Way was closed between Yanko and Narandra after a heavy vehicle rollover. Murrumbidgee Police District attended the scene posting this photo yesterday. They're advising we follow all local diversions along Regulator Road and check the live traffic app for further updates. And there's not long to wait now for local footy fans with AFL back this weekend. The Farrow League's opening round is filled with top-notch matchups. The Northern Jets hosting North Wagga, Burralan taking on the Magpies and CSU up against Collyambly. The match of the round will be the Mara Bombers hosting East Wagga Karingal, last season's first and second before COVID brought things to a halt. And taking a look at the weather map now across the Riverina, 24 degrees in Griffith, mostly sunny. Same in Wagga, 24 degrees and sunny. 22 degrees and cloudy in Young. I'll have more local news in an hour. I'll see you then.